recording my intro, take number 772. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to find out what is inside my Ipsy bag and my Ipsy Glam Plus box for the month of June. Um, I'm kind of nervous as to what may be in these bags this month. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PMH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell therefore you know when I'm posting even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also give this video a like while you're at it. So I wanted to get this video up yesterday but I was not feeling the look I was doing at all and I am really glad I redid it because I am loving this dark glam look today. Yeah. <laughs> a tutorial on this look will actually go up on my Instagram tomorrow which is Thursday. It is now time to see what is in my Ipsy bag and my Ipsy Glam Plus box for the month of June. Last month was okay. There were a couple items that were not cruelty free, so I ended up having to pass them off. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get on into it. All right, let's go ahead and start with my regular Ipsy bag. Let's open her up. They really, uh, sealed it this month. <laughs> All right, we got some outside items. Ooh, this bag is really cute. I really like it. That's a really cute bag. All right, this month's theme is make waves. Summer is more than a season. It's a state of mind. You deserve to rock that neon liner, swipe the bright gloss, and go full on bold for you. That was a weird sentence. <laughs> Break your beauty rut and create a splash. To get the 101 on your products, head to ipsy.com for all the intel straight from our pros. Yeah, I totally went in the opposite direction of a bright look. I went a dark look today. <laughs> to save the date to choose your product is June 24th. So make sure you head on over to Ipsy that day to pick a product for your next bag. And this is what the card looks like. There's no product information in the card this this month so I'm gonna have to go look up the prices when we're done unboxing <laughs> alrighty so the outside item was actually an add-on that I purchased um, when I picked my product for the month and it is the pores be gone matte primer with fig extract from first aid beauty you guys know this is one of my favorite skincare brands I am so excited to try this out um, in case you don't know, um, when you're able to choose your product, you're also able to add on items for a fraction of the price of what they would cost. And yeah, I wanted to try this out, so I added it on. <laughs> Let's go in the bag. All right, first up we have a cleanse, a tree foam cleanser from the brand Essen Herb. It is from Pure Tea Tree. Tea Tree foam cleanser removes skin impurities and supplies moisture. It says it's for all skin types, including blemish skin. Let's see here. It doesn't say if it's tested on animals or not. So I'm going to have to check. This is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to have to check to see if this product is cruelty free or not. And I'll pop it at the bottom of the screen. Next item we have. It is from Mayel and it is a clearly brilliant tinted lip crayon in the shade nectar i am not sure if this brand is cruelty free or not as well i am going to have to check and pop it at the bottom of the screen for you even either way i won't keep this because i am not a fan of lip crayons um the only ones i really like are the ones from bite beauty and that's because they last for a long time other than that i'm not a big fan of lip crayons we have from Nanette Lepore, it is a body lotion in colors of Nanette. That's a cute bottle. Let's see here. 
this doesn't say either if this brand is tested on animals or not. This is weird. I mean, I've pulled out three products from the bag, the actual bag itself, and I don't know if they're cruelty free or not. So yeah, I'm going to have to do my research on this. And if it's not, I'm going to have to toss it. Well, pass it on. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> this brand I know is cruelty free and it's vegan. This is from KVD Vegan Beauty, I believe it's called now. It's not Kat Von D uh, Beauty anymore. It's I think it's KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, and it is the Locket Setting Powder and Translucent. I actually have a size of this, and I really do like this setting powder. So I think I'm going to keep this one. And the last item that I have is actually the item that I picked. It is a highlighter from Ofra. It is in collaboration with Talia Mar. I'm not sure who that is. Don't come for me. Don't put my head on a stick. And it is in the shade Coven Garden. So I am going to keep this. I love Ofra highlighters. They are just so, mwah, they are so awesome. I love Ofra highlighters. All right, I'm going to clean all this up and then we are going to see what is in my Ipsy Glam Plus box. Alrighty, it is now time to see what's in my Ipsy Glam Plus box for the month of June. Here is the card. It's the same as the Glam bag. There's no product information in it. So like I said, I'm going to have to look these prices up. So let's see what we got first. Ooh, we got a beauty sponge from Huda Beauty. It is the basic B straight edge spon sponge applicator. That's nice. I could always use a, a new makeup sponge to try out. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Ooh, this is the product I picked out. It is from Perlise and I absolutely love this brand as well. It is the watermelon energizing balm. It is lightweight oil free gel cream refreshes and moisturize. It is for oily to combination, normal, even sensitive skin. So I guess it's not good for dry skin. Ugh. Um, this is from Dr. Brandt. It is the Pores No More's Luminizer Primer. I do not like this primer at all. It doesn't do anything for my skin. It actually makes me look greasy. So I may put this in a giveaway, in the giveaway box for a future giveaway. Since I have to replenish for my last giveaway. <laughs> Here is the bag. Ooh, I like this green color. I like these colors that they used. And for some reason, this bag looks like it's the same size. But I like this color green. Very summer-like. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have from Araceli, it is the Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. So I'm sure it's brown. It is a liquid liner. I am not going to keep this um, because I have a brown liquid liner. I actually have two that I absolutely love. So I'm going to put this in the box for a future giveaway. And the last item we have is from Laura Geller. And it is the Urban Garden Central Park Face, Eye, and Cheek Palette. Let's see what this looks like. This is pretty. It's a nice, like, neutral to go travel palette. I probably won't keep this because I have so many eye and face palettes that I already like. Um, so I may give this away or I may put this in the box for a future giveaway. All right, I am going to clean all this up. I'm going to go check these prices on these items, and I will be right back. All righty, let's go ahead and run down the prices of these products. Now, you know for the Glam Bag, the original Glam Bag, the prices are for the full sizes, not for the size that I have. The Essenerb Cleanser goes for $16 for a 5.07 fluid ounce bottle. The Mayel Lip Crayon goes for $9 for 2.94 grams and this is 1.6 grams. The KVD Vegan Beauty Translucent Powder for a 1.9 ounce size is $16 and for a 0.67 ounce is $31. 
The Nanette Lepore Body Lotion is $25 and I was unable to get the size that it is, but I'm pretty sure it's bigger than one fluid ounce. <laughs> The Ofra highlighter, this is a full size highlighter and it retails for $35. And the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer for 1.7 ounces is $29. Now let's go over to the products in my Glam Plus box. The Huda Beauty Sponge is $17. The Dr. Brandt Primer is $38, which this brand is stupid expensive to begin with. And um, I don't see a lot of, um, I don't see a lot of difference in my skin when I use these products. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of Dr. Brandt anymore. The Araceli Liner is $16. The Laura Geller Palette, which I had to double check to make sure this price was right. It's only $14. That's a killer price for four eyeshadows, a blush, and a bronzer. That is really, really nice. And Laura Geller is a pretty good brand. They're the ones who made the infamous Gilded Honey um, highlighter. And the Pearl Lease um, moisturizer is $24. I will place a link down in the description box if you want to sign up for Ipsy or Ipsy Glam Plus or the Ipsy Glam Ultimate box. Um, it is just a referral link. I don't earn any money from it at all whatsoever. As far as this month goes, I am not really impressed all that well. I have three products that I have to check to see if they're cruelty free. I'm not already going to keep this even though I have to check to see if it's cruelty free. I only have four products that I'm definitely going to keep and then I have three that I'm definitely not going to keep so it's it was just an okay month actually I wasn't really impressed it's not the greatest month for me in my eyes and that is all that I have for you guys today don't forget that all my social media handles will be down in the description box come on over we have fun on those pages as well I do not however have a Twitter account so if you happen to see one with my face in this gorgeous smile report it because it's fake also all the products that I used for this makeup look will be listed down in the description box as well I love you all so much and I will see y'all next time bye when you got gloss on and your hair just won't stick in it. <laughs> Very disappointed. Very disappointed. But I'm really excited to try this. <laughs> one video down and one more to go. <laughs>